uh, Travis Playmaker drop. Okay, so we got the uh, the three by one with a Y attached. Okay, crease concept to the top to to the middle right there with the two and the three. Let's see. Middle of the field, probably checks that concept. Again, pressure immediately rolls out to the left, keeps his eyes down the field. Not an easy play to make. You know, not an easy play to make. Full sprint, full sprint to your left, throwing from not even a good base. Like, this is not necessarily the most ideal place to throw from. We do like the fact that he gets vertical. He gets vertical. Um, right, right step is a little bit shallow. You probably want that right foot to be a little bit more out. But again, he's full sprint. He gets some of that disassociation, uh, throws a ball sidearm, flutters a little bit. And hits his guy right in the you know right in the bread basket and he drops it, and there's a few incidences. Um, I don't know if it was game two or three or whatever it was where um, he had a good four or five drops by his guys, you know. So it's not like he was working with the best. I'm assuming this is just a clear out and he's not really part of the concept. Maybe you know maybe like a hot or like an alert if he was getting pressed or something like that and they like this guy. But you have the crease right here, crease concept, drag again, nothing nothing open, um, nothing open over the middle of the field, right. Reading that, could he hit you know fourteen here? Yeah, yeah, sure he could. He could hit fourteen, but by the, by, by the time he's able to, or by the time he gets to it, there's already a guy in his face who scrambles out to the left. I understand that. And again, just keep those eyes up and make it make a, a throw that's not necessarily an easy one. You know, again, full full blown sprint to your left, trying to get that ball out um, while running through you know <laughs> running away from other elite D one athletes. Yeah, not easy. And he gets it there, and again, not helped out by his teammate. Um. Trav good read, but has to chuck ball front shoulder down. Okay, so we got three by one to the uh, to the field here. In situation, not really much open. We like the fact that he found that window. Uh, looks like he reads the top first. Nothing open in the top. He's probably going one to two, three, four on the backside. Let's see from the other view. Check the middle. Yep, one two. Get nothing open. Not going to throw that ball in the seam right there with that linebacker and the safety over the top. Right? He's just checking it. The one thing it's not it's not even it's not even so uh, emphasizing this. Sometimes his transitional footwork could be a little bit better. We want we want him really lined up to where he's looking at, at times. Like he's looking for, pretty far up to the right right here, and he's pretty straight up in his footwork. Um, looks to the left again. Nothing in the seam right there. There are times he's toesy. It's not necessarily the best example of it here. We'll go to a different one. Then again, sees his guy open to the to the bottom of the screen. So one, two, nothing there. And what does he see is when he's going to throw the ball is number one right there, the number two on that curl. More of like it's almost more of like a like a snag. Um, but he sees him in that window and he gets the ball there. That's a that's a good decision. Again, good job keeping your eyes up. But you could see how much you have to put into the throw when he actually goes to throw this ball. So he really like really has to step into it. And you see, and and you see how, again, you see how that elbow is going down. That front elbow is going down, not not around. So he tends, so he tends to, uh, he, he tends to come come down. And then when you when you come down like that, every every basically, if you cut the body in half, if you're if if the left side of your body has one uh, action, the other side of your body typically has a reaction. So it's almost like the opposite. So if you're just to stay balanced, so if your left shoulder goes down, that tends to raise your right arm up. And when your right arm, when your right arm rises up, that makes a higher release point, and that can obviously obviously affect your accuracy um, and things like that. You you want you want a nice tight elbow angle, and you and you and you want to rotate all, all the way. Oh Jesus, elbow the helmet. You want to rotate all the way through, but you don't want to rotate down. Um, again, and that's why I think some balls can 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 not you know flutter, but they can fly on them a little bit because he tends to to drop that front elbow, drop the front front elbow. Again, ball gets there. Good, uh, good read, all that stuff. But again, his mechanics are something that he definitely needs to work on NFL level. That's something that jumps off the tape pretty much immediately. Um, Travis Playmaker, okay, three by one. Okay. Play action roll out to the right, immediate pressure. Again, Playmaker finding some, finding, finding his targets. Um, I'm trying to see what his reads are real quick. Okay, right side first, nothing to the right. Yeah, right? Relatively simple here. Roll out to the right. Looking for the slot fade. Doesn't like the slot fade. Right, so now there's nothing open to the right. And obviously he could hit four, but you have to gear down. 
he could have technically hit four, but he's looking for more. I'm okay with that. Roll to the left side. I stay up. Guy in covers, middle of the field, wide open. Get it to him. All right? Like, good play. He's definitely a playmaker. Roll out to the right. Media pressure. Eyes up. Find a guy. Up and covering across the middle. Wide open. Hit him. <clears throat> Easy enough. Travis effort. Okay. Uh, block. I don't know if um, maybe it's a block. Yep. All right, just watch him. Just watch him the entire time. And this is the type, this is the type of like intangible stuff that people don't talk about. But you have a guy in your locker room, um, you know, working around a bunch of dudes, 30 year old dudes with two kids, three kids, all this stuff. Like guys want to see young kids who are dedicated, who are, you know, savages, really. Like you want to go to war with this guy. You know, do you want to see guys in the play patty cake and stuff like that and not get involved? Or do you want to see your quarterback do this and not have to necessarily get involved in a play, but find themselves blocking and then pancaking, you know, a, a safety linebacker, whatever, whatever that is like hell of an effort by, by Jordan Travis there. So we definitely like that. Oh. Fade touchdown. <clears throat> okay. I'm assuming to the top, just based on how isolated he is. I'm not sure if it's a thing where like, Hey, they have a concept. You can, you have a check with me at the line. Hey, if he's isolated fade, <clears throat> if he's not different concept to run whatever it may be. But I'm assuming to the top he's going to do that. Yep. Good location on it. Good location on the fade. Again, read it right away. Again, mechanics, not not the best in the lower half from him here. We can see that he closes his front foot off a little bit. Like that, 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 if you just take the picture of that front foot, he's throwing to the middle of the field, like directly to the middle of the field. Now his, and then you see how he inner rotates off that back foot. Like he's not really driving through his hips. He's rotating into his like own knee instead of stepping over it. So um, his weight transfer is not very clean here, but we do like the the area it's in. You know, we can argue a little bit more outside shoulder here, but it's fine, right? Obviously, that's being super nitpicky. Good job I, I, IDing the fade. Again, probably pre-snap. There's nobody over the top. There's nobody, um, you know, who can really get there. So let me just throw this ball up on a fade. As long as my guy gets, you know, decent leverage, he does. Chucks the ball up there. Good location. Good touchdown by Jordan Travis. Um, anticipation. <clears throat> touchdown. Okay. Um, obviously we've got a two by two, <clears throat> two tight ends, 12 personnel look. And this is one where, okay, they, they run, um, you know, deeper, deeper slant post and an out and up right there. I don't necessarily love the double move in, 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 in the red zone like, like that. Um, unless it's just a, like an adjustment, like, Hey, he's not hitting me in the flat. So I'm automatically just going to turn it up. Um, you know, regardless of whatever exactly it is, play action. He's reading the middle. He's reading the middle of the field. Well, actually, it's not play action. Sorry. Looks like it's like a looks like it's a two jet, two jet protection. Reading the middle of the field, and what is what is he? He obviously knows that post is coming. <clears throat> post is coming from his left side. So, with no middle of the field safety being there. Again, middle of the field close. If there's a safety here, he probably comes off of that and maybe maybe goes to the out and up. But because there's no safety here, it's vacated. Um, he is IDing or or you know identifying that he wants to throw to the middle of the field. Now we have this linebacker who gets into that into the hallway a little bit, so he has to just wait an extra like split second to throw that ball. Throws it up there with some anticipation. Again, do we like the fact that he's fading off the you know fading out of this throw and not stepping into it? No, but do we like the fact that hey, um, you know, dropping back here, reading reading middle of the field? I he definitely wants that. He definitely wants that post, and he's pretty much staring down down that post read the entire time. Middle he doesn't really see middle of the field safety. He sees that shallow linebacker, but he knows that he could throw that ball with anticipation and touch. Throws that ball with anticipation and touch. Perfect area touchdown. Right, read the middle. 15's vacating. The linebacker's kind of filling there, but he knows, again, with that touch, touch anticipation, he can get it there. Boom. Touchdown. Good play. Simple simple read. Um, Travis anticipation, low and away. This is something he doesn't, like, I'm not going to say he's he has great anticipation, but to say he's ne he doesn't really ever throw with anticipation, that's that's not necessarily true. Um, I would say he, it's not an area, like, of, of pure strength for him, though. Right? So, um. Now we, have, now we have a trip and release again. Another another dig. Um, you know, this one's like a, this one's like a speed cut dig over the middle, um, and it's a good job again with with anticipation here, um, stepping up and and throwing and throwing that ball and delivering that ball. Okay, read the middle of the field. See him drop down to take the flat, 
And if he drops down to take that flat, what's going to be what's going to be behind him? Some green grass for me to throw that ball. That's his conflict defender number twenty three. Again, when that conflict defender drops drops down, because because what he's going to read here is hey, if if he doesn't drop down here and get and get wide, then guess what? I'm going to deliver the ball to the flat, give my guys some 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 uh some cushion to get some yards here. You know, easy first down on 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 third and you know third and eight or or whatever it is. Um. Lower that ball to the flat if there's enough cushion. Okay, to, you know, get the first down. If he if he gets into the flat right here, then you have a slant. Then you have the uh, sorry the the dig behind it, and you throw that ball. Reads that again, throws it low and away. Um, again, it's a thing where like if you're not sure exactly what's over the middle, it's better to just put it on a guy and low because uh, if you can't see the middle and you take his head off, he's not going to be thrilled. So delivers a ball on him. Good job. Again, we can see that that you see the arm really really go down here. Instead of again rotating through, he he, he drops down. You can see his he's he's kind of all, a little bit all over the place. Release point a little wonky, you know, a little wide. Gets the ball there though, but again, the the mechanics are not not the best. Uh, Travis throw on run. Okay, another two by two. Two by two going to running back to the field or to to the, the boundary. Okay. So and he's there's well, he thought he had a free blitzer up the up the middle, um. So his his answer was to obviously roll away from from said pressure. So good job, just again not not panicking, rolling out again. Obviously you could see the the speed, you could see the athleticism. This is not an easy throw to make, even though it's only you know a twenty yard throw. Um, the amount of touch and location on that is pretty is pretty top notch. So hell of a job by Travis again, um. Whether it be pre or post snap, just knowing hey you know at, at this moment you have at least what. Four, six guys in the offense, six guys versus five. Now, obviously, six drops off, but you have 63 who just doesn't feel like picking anything up. So he waits. Um, so he's forced to roll out, rolls out because of it. Again, identifies the leverage right here, or I, I, I then, or identifies this as being open. Now, why? Why is he willing to throw this? It's because of the back. You know, obviously, you don't have anybody over the top, right? And his and, and this defender's backs to him. So if you can put enough touch on that, again, let your guy make a play, attack the ball. That's exactly what he does. It's a good job. Again, you can see the athleticism, you see the acceleration, you see the just a natural playmaker ability throwing on the run that he has. Um, things in between, you know, transitional footwork, um how how much on his toes he is as he's going through his reads is uh can be a little bit concerning at times. You could fix that, but Travis playmaker. Okay, here we go. Play action again, and I guess I really didn't care about the concept so much here, but we like the uh, again we like we like the playmaking ability of him. So this is more of just like a flashy highlight play. Again, reading middle of the field, nothing open. Okay, two you know two guys in his face, roll out, roll out from the one guy, the in, the interior threat. Now five on or five or now six on covers. Get a little bit more vertical. Get away from him. Face mask doesn't matter. Adjust his helmet mid play. You love the you love the adjustment the the, uh, the helmet adjust mid play. Again, keep his eyes down the field. Sees somebody uncovered, throws it to him across his body. Like good play, right? Definitely, definitely has some athleticism and some playmaker ability to him. NFL level, does it work out just like that? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe so.